Hey guys, so today uh, we're gonna talk about facial hair, uh, specifically adding facial hair if you don't have any. There are many reasons you might wanna do this, um, character choices, gender bending, special effects, fantasy, um, but laying uh, facial hair on yourself or on an actor uh, is something that is called upon quite a lot. Um, if you guys would like to hear a really weird story, uh, email me or comment uh, and I'll tell you about the strangest makeup job I ever did, which was where I was called in to put a mustache on a dead man. It was weird, but uh, also a little bit cool uh, to know that my makeup will last an eternity. But anyway, uh, what we're going to be doing today, like I said, is creating, not just laying facial hair, but creating a facial hair prosthetic. Uh, because you can buy pre-made mustaches, pre-made beards, all kinds of things like that, or you can make one yourself uh, that can be reused. And that's kind of what I'm going to be showing you guys uh, how to do today. So the first thing you're going to need is a piece of just inexpensive um, netting or tool. Uh, this is honestly something I had laying around the house. Uh, you can see it's kind of a kind of a turquoise color. I don't know why I had turquoise tool laying around my house, but I did. It's part of the trade, hazard of the job. Uh, so this is what you're gonna wanna start with. This will be the base of your reusable piece. It will be that and the liquid latex that came in your kit or that you can purchase separately, uh, as well as crepe hair. Now, so let's talk about crepe hair for a, mo a moment. It comes like this. You can see it's all nice and braided, right? That you just pull off. This is made from crepe wool. Um, so if you have a, a wool allergy, you'll need to find, make sure you find an alternative. Um, first and foremost, make sure if you have any kind of allergies like that and you're an actor, you need to communicate that with your team. Um, just because I have had people that I've been putting prosthetics on and then halfway through they kind of start coughing and itching and say well, is this made out of latex because i'm allergic to latex i'm like yes it's made out of latex it's literally what i've been doing to you so make sure you communicate that uh, or if you're getting it yourself make sure that you're getting um, something that is not going to be an allergen to you comes in uh like i said in this braid uh you can and you can see as it as i pull it off it still has that sort of wavy texture to it right Sometimes that's what you want. Um, for what I'm doing for laying facial hair, it's actually really nice to have that simply because um, generally facial hair has sort of a more wiry texture to it. Um, so keeping it like that just sort of keeps it a little more natural. Now, if you're doing a longer beard uh, or something like that, or if you're specifically wanting a, a look, uh, you can um, submerge this in water right, and let it air dry, and that will straighten it out a lot, or you can steam it with an iron, and that will help straighten it out. But for my purposes, this is what's going to be used uh, in this sort of way that it uh, already exists. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to uh, decide where you want to lay your facial hair. So I have decided to give myself a really awesome late 90s, early 2000s, half goatee soul patch thing. Um, usually I would do a mustache, but it's really hard <laughs> to uh, teach and speak while you're, you know, laying things up here and hair gets in your mouth, it's not pretty. So uh, you're going to take, uh, you know, your eyebrow or eyeliner or whatever and just sort of draw out where you want it to be, right? So I'm gonna give myself that sort of late 90s, like I said, late 90s, early 2000. Right, Tony Stark sort of thing. So that's kind of the shape I'm going for. Once you have your shape, you know, you know how you want it on your face, then you come in with your tool and literally just sort of sketch it on top. So you come in. All right, lay it over. All 
That way you know exactly where to cut it. And then you cut it out. Then you have your base. Excellent. So real quick thing about working with latex. Um, first and foremost, again, make sure if you are allergic to latex that you are communicating that. Um, same thing with wool. If you have an allergy like that, you need to make sure you're communicating with your team. Uh, latex does have a smell. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can really do about that. It's just the way it is. Also, the latex that comes in your kit, right, has this little brush, which is great. And I love it, um, but I just don't feel like I have as much control. So this is one of those moments where I bring in the cheap uh, paintbrush. Um, you do you. If that's what you want to do, get it. If not, that's cool too. So you prep that and you get your uh, crepe hair ready. So you can see again that it just sort of pulls out, right? And then you pull it apart. Um, again, if you need to or want to straighten it out, by all means do. I generally don't for facial hair because I like this sort of movement and texture, but that's just me. And then for this, I will actually cut it relatively short, right? You can see I'm, I'm cutting in relatively short pieces, long enough that I can grab, but not so long that I'm going to cut them off. Uh, and feel like I'm wasting whenever I trim my facial hair down. Then you get ready to literally lay the hair down. So uh, whenever you're doing this, you will always start at the bottom and work your way up, right? So that you're laying in layers and not having to go up under the layers up here to get the next layer down, right? So I always start by putting just a little dot of the latex kind of in the middle to hold my base, right? Tap it a little bit so it dries. That way it holds it in place. So then you start actually laying the hair. So you'll see that I pick it up in little, you know, clumps like this, right? Yeah. So I come in, put just a very thin row and lay it down. You can see I'm just sort of touching. The straight line where I cut and pulling away and it leaves just a few little hairs at a time. You also want to go at about a 45, ooh, yeah, about a 45 degree angle right? Because facial hair kind of grows out and down. So rather than laying it straight, you're actually kind of straight like this. You're actually coming in at an angle like this. Then I come up just a little bit above and lay my next line. And at this point, you'll be able to start feeling how quickly it dries and seeing why you have to work so quickly. Not rushed, right? Because a rushed job is never a good job, but definitely just quick.
Now it's at this point that I am choosing to do just a little bit of grooming, right? Because it does start to look a little bit rowdy at some point and it gets hard to work with. So uh, that's why I come in with just some little, you know, grooming scissors. This is very hard to do in a camera screen, but that's all right. And just sort of start cleaning it up. And that's where I start to see, you know, maybe some places that are looking a little bald or not quite as. Cool. Do be careful when trimming. I mean, you are coming at your face with scissors. All right, and once you've got it trimmed and shaped the way you wanted, you have your prosthetic uh, hair piece. Now, the reason I do consider it a prosthetic hair piece is because if you will notice, now that it's all nice and shaped, not the way I want, I can pull it off in one piece. And there it is. You've put your base, because you put the base down, right, you have a piece that can actually be reused, right? Because you can come in and paint, I have crepe hair everywhere, paint a, with a, just a wee bit of your latex across the back to fill in the gaps. And once it dries, you have a reusable hairpiece. All you have to do to reuse it is just put a little bit of spirit gum down on your skin and it's drying now. Put a little bit of spirit gum on your skin right? Let it get really tacky and then you can just pop that bad boy right up there. So that is how you make a reusable face hair, facial hair piece.